happy 2024. You have crossed over. You have already entered into a new season. And I just believe, God, that great things are going to happen for you. So if you're watching this video, you already seen the title of the, the message, How You Can Manifest the love you want, the dream house, your dream car, the finances you want to make. Very simple. I'm going to keep it short. So you want to know how you can manifest that thing? Let me show you. The Bible. Now I know you probably say cliche or I know this already. But a lot of times when you really look at the manifesting methods people come out with, it's about thinking positive, what you say. A lot of that really just comes from the Bible. A lot of this new age practice, it comes from the Bible. I'm going to encourage you guys to read the book of Proverbs. Because God gives us wisdom and the ability to create wealth. He will um, just help us in how they talk about like thinking positive. It's a scripture that says, so as a man think in his heart, so is he. And then they always talk about with manifesting, speaking positive. The Bible talks about life and death is in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruit. So pretty much whatever you're speaking out of your mouth, if it's not um, uplifting, edifying someone else or yourself, you're speaking death. So I just want to encourage someone on today for 2024, if you always doing the same thing and getting the same results, it is time to try something new. So if you want to manifest your dream house, your car, the love you want, then I am just going to encourage you to get in the word more, to build your relationship with God. Now, how many of you can really say that you tapped in like really stood on the word of God, really been intentional with making time for God, being about God's business and truly being obedient and still broke, still not doing the things that your heart desires to do. How many of you can truly say you did these things and nothing happened? Because guess what? Did you really tap in? Ask yourself that. Did you really tap in? So 2024, let this be a year that you no longer going to be comfortable, but you truly going to stand on faith. I know this whole thing, um, everybody talking about standing on business, but let 2024 be the year that you stand on faith. Let 2024 be the year that you go all in. Let 2024 that you step out of comfort ability that you stop being comfortable but you just tap into um god you tap into the things that he wants for you and you go after it so i'm encouraging you today manifest soon do it god's way seek ye first the kingdom of god and all things will be added on to you that mean the resources that you need for your business the the new connections the people Everything will be added unto you when you truly seek the Father with all your heart. And let me just add this. Don't just seek him for the blessing, but just seek him because you want to have a relationship with him. The Bible says, where well, the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So if you find yourself feeling stuck, feeling like you in so much debt, like you don't know what to do, there's freedom in Christ. So I am just praying that this video will be encouragement to, encouragement to someone. 2024, rededicate your life back to Christ. 2024, truly go after God. And I promise you, you won't feel stuck no more. You're not going to be trying to figure out how you're going to pay your bills. You're not going to be complacent. You're not going to be confused because guess what? That ain't God. And if you're feeling confused, you're going to give that confusion confusion back to the devil because God have not given it to you God didn't give you the spirit of fear but the um power of God didn't give you the spirit of fear but of power love and a sound mind so I want you to be encouraged on today share this message with somebody and let them know you manifesting the godly way you're reading your bible you're using and applying scriptures and speaking the word of god over whatever that issue is and you trust in god and you standing on his word so don't be standing on business in 2024 be standing on the word of god have a good one you guys